Hello and welcome back to Simply Solo Playthroughs. We are here once again with Imperial Assault, The Return to Hoth. This is the fourth in the campaign. And I'm going to have to... That looks about right. And I'm going to have to tell you something is... This is my third attempt. <laughs> I have had a lot of really bad luck with technology, or as we would like to just call it, in a short between the keyboard and the chair. So we begin. Unfortunately, we don't have... Uh, Bennett gets... the Our heroes get back. And how are they alive? Well, Palpatine's still alive. Darth Maul survived getting cut in half. So, hey, these guys were just shot, so hey. I'm sure there's an, a droid or a mech out there or something to uh, help fix them up. And what happened was Benix got uh, kidnapped and they have decided to go after Benix to rescue them. Uh, it's probably not going to be a good idea. An inevitable betrayal. Denger, our anti-hero, has provided you with rendezvous coordinates on Nar Shaddaa. For making the trade, you scout the location before the meeting discovered Danger has picked an abandoned factory. Continue. You enter the factory through the front entrance. You find yourselves immediately faced with two options and which way to go. Continue. Once you are inside, the door behind you slams shut. You check the door controls and find the other door is, the door is locked. It appears your only option is to go further into the factory. Deploy the rebels! So we have our rebels deployed. They are healthy, well, and alive. They are under no stress. Continue. Welcome! A voice booms over the factory's intercom. You recognize the voice belonging to Danger. I am pleased that you have come. Now show me the money. You look around the room and note multiple security holocams tracking your every move. Okay, I can choose either option here. I've chosen both. It doesn't make a difference. Show us Benix first. Your friend is unharmed for now. Danger says, unfortunately, the same cannot be said of you. Before you reply, the vents of the wall began pumping white gas into the entryway. You begin to feel sluggish and drowsy. Each rebel must test strength. Each rebel that does not pass becomes weakened. Okay, so we're starting with not a white die. So we're going to start here. And we have a blue and a green. And I think most of them have blues and greens. Passes. Blue and green. Does not pass. You know, the other two times I've played it, they both passed. Everybody passed. Well, that's not the case today. Oh, and he passes. That's good. Okay. Continue. It's clear now that your only hope of getting Benix back is alive is to find Danger. Objective updated. Find Danger. Continue. Round one. So, I am going to go this way as I have done the last two times. I guess just to kind of keep it fair and such. And we're going to start with Diala. Diala is going to open the door, interact. You find yourselves in what appears to be this. Come on. 
There we go. Okay. Appears to be a cafeteria from the factory work factory workers. So what we find out is in the Empire all the factory all the cafeterias look the same. Continue. An unopened crate. Yes. Continue. Several heavily and armed mercenaries, all wearing gas masks, stand awaiting your arrival. Continue. And the hired guns. It's funny how they replace a lot of the same ones. Continue. And I was afraid of that. And look at that. They moved them off to the side this time. That's interesting. Continue. A terminal with a placard says fan control is positioned against the wall of the cafeteria. On top of the machine is a large canister with the words hazardous gas inscribed on the side. This must be how Danger is pumping gas through the ventilation system. Place a terminal. Hero can interact with this terminal to try to shut it down. Continue. The poison gas is taking its toll on you. You better shut that fan quickly. Continue. Okay, so we continue on, and it's still Diala's turn. Diala is. Weekend. This is Verna. Okay. And Diala is going to reach out and touch the hired gun. Who gets a white die. And she gets a... Uh, we will go on ahead and exhaust balance tilt. Uh, let's see. Exhaust this snap kit. Exhaust this card after you resolve an attack with a melee weapon. Choose one hostile adjacent figure. Roll one green die. Suffers results. That's nice. There's no defense against that. Apply plus one speed. Okay, she is going to go on ahead and. Really wish we could upgrade that. Oh yuck! So that's out. So we get a stun, and we no, we're not going to take the stun. We are going to take the plus one damage for two damage. That's number one. And then she is going to snap kick. Exhaust this card after you resolve an attack. Uh, with a melee weapon, roll one green die. So come on, two damage. Two damage. First one's out. That's why I did not stun him. Okay, that is the end of Diala's turn. Assassin droid, versatile weaponry. You, oh boy. The closest rebel in the line of sight figure to this group tests insight. If it does not pass, it suffers one damage and becomes one. At the start of this group's activation, the closest rebel in so line of sight of the figure. So, we're gonna test insight. Kinda wish I moved those two opposite. Oh, and her weekend is now gone. Blue and green. Could be worse. And we pass. That's good news. Attack the healthiest rebel that suffered the least damage. Apply a plus one and plus two accuracy to the result. So we're just going to Attack. So 
So um two has line of sight for sure. I don't think we have line of sight here. No, there is no line of sight. So good news, one cannot do that. Okay, he's going to move three. One, two, three. Because we're adjacent, he still gets to attack. And that is a blue, green, yellow versus a black. Okay, not so good. Good news is we have at least got rid of two. We get a weaken. We get plus one, plus one. So that takes care of that. So it's three damage. Finn and attack the healthiest rebel that has suffered the least damage. That will be oh, okay. I'm gonna have to reverse these, so he's back up here. So that's one, two, three, four. So that's a blue, yellow, green. Versus a white to Diala. Not as bad. She gets another weekend. And takes two damage. And that is the end of his turn. Diala. Okay, there we go. That's corrected. Okay, and number two is going to attack Diala. Yeah, let's stop. Yep. Hold it. One, two, three, four. Yeah, five, rank, five accuracy, not a problem. Here we go again. And we get a dodge. Well, that's going to tick him off. So he is going to move three to attack a healthy rebel. One, two, three. And again, Diala. And again, Diala has a... Oh, that's nice. Could have used that last time. Okay, that is the end of... Ooh. Okay, assassin droid has six. So huh, bad news for him though. Okay, so Finn is going to take his turn and he is going to go after the hired gun. So, not trench fighter. Tactical movement. Exhaust this card at the start of your activation. Choose yourself or a friendly figure within three spaces. Give them two movement points. So, I'm going to give the two movement points to. Yeah, I'm going to give the two movement points to him. Because we're going to need it. Okay, we have the A280. With the plasma cell and the overcharger. Oh! So that's this card during defending apply a minus one. I forgot about that. Okay, 
Drain a large card after an attack targeting you is resolved. If you suffered one or more damage. Okay, we're not going to do that. Trench fighter. What else does card when you declare an attack? Targeting a figure within three spaces, apply a plus two to the attack result. We are definitely going to do that. So we have a plus two to the attack result. Oh, finish. Don't need those. Deplete this card. When you attack, remove one die from the target's defense pool. Okay, we're not going to use the overcharger on at this time. We're going to have to save that because that's a that's it. <laughs> we get one use out of it. Okay, so we have a blue and a green versus a white. We are going to use one stress to use havoc shot and one two. So it's going to miss one, so we have two, we have easy accuracy, two, three, four, that takes care of the hired gun. This also gives one damage to each of the assassin droids. Hmm. One. Okay, he's not going to be able to use this. So he is going to... He's going to shoot assassin droid number two. No, first of all, we're going to... Yeah, we're just going to shoot assassin droid number two. So it's a blue and a green versus a black. Wow. Okay, so we have. Oh, nice. We have a Pierce one. We have a plus two, so that's going to be three. So that's. Two, three, four, Pierce one automatically is five, and that take and he already has one out, so that is the end of our first our second assassin droid. Oh, that is really good. That is really, really good. Okay, that is going, and then he is going to, he's going to take two stress to move, two spots, he is then going to use Lone Wolf and recover one. And that is the end of Fen's turn. Okay, Gideon has a speed of four. One, two from Finn. One, two, three. Three. We have one spot left over to do. Terminal's bumping, noxious gas. A hero can interact with the trouble. Shut it down. Mechanic. Not the highest on mechanic, is he? Ah, him and Finn are the best. We have a one. You figure out how to drain down the power, the power terminal. The fan slows to stop, as does the sound of the hissing gas. With the terminal shut off, you notice the security holograms in the room have ceased functioning as well. It seems the building security systems are connected to the terminals like this one. Deactivating all the terminals could be the key to getting Danger. Discard the terminal. Objective, obj objective updated. 
find and shut down three more terminals. Okay, Gideon still has one more move to make. Based on everything, he's just going to move right here so we can easily open the door. All right, continue. That's the end of Gideon. And now we have Miss Close Quarters. She's going to take a strain for one. And she is going to try to take him out. Now she has a DL-44. Which is blue and a yellow. She has an underbarrel, which gives her plus one accuracy and a possible blast one that's not going to help much of anything. When point blank shot. When you declare an attack with a pistol targeting an adjacent figure, you may replace one die in the attack pool with a red die. Apply pierce one to the attack. Ooh, I like that. That is just a standard non-exhausting. Spend one to exhaust this card while hostile figure adjacent to you defending to apply a minus one. Oh, I like that. We are going to definitely spend that. So we're going to create opening. Oh, she's going to she has combat momentum. I forgot about that. So she's going to her one that she spent, she's going to move two. So she's actually going to move right there. Hostile is def oh, no, that doesn't work. It has to be defeated. Okay, so we're going to use the DL44 with the underbarrel. We have a blue and a yellow. We are going to... Ooh. Plus two. Plus one. So we need five damage. And a red does one third of a chance of getting three half to okay we're going to replace the yellow with the red versus a black and we managed to get two damage get one deflected so that's two we're going to do the exact same thing and this time we only get one more damage. That is the end of her turn. And we move to round two. She's not stunned, she's weakened. She is no longer weakened. Okay, so we've got a reach of one. And we only need three damage. Or we take Finn. Finn is going to go on ahead and activate. And he will use...
and she's going to give two movement to Verna. Right? Yeah, Verna Talos. We're going to use Trench Fighter. So we get plus two damage. So all we need to do is get one damage in all of this. Black, blue, and green. One, two, three. That is more than enough to take care of our assassin droid. And then he has a four movement. One, two, three. Four. So that takes care of Finn. Jen is going to get the two movement. One, two, and one more. Ah, she didn't need it. <laughs> Bummer. She is going to interact with the crate. All right, fine, two med packs, 25 credits, perfect, continue. And she is going to de-stress. One, two, one, two. So she can move here and then take her second part of her activation to de-stress, okay. Diala is going to move one, two, three. Four. I can't open the door. Okay. And Diala is not going to do anything. So Gideon is going to go on ahead and open the door. You're not sure where the door leads, but since Thanger left it unlocked, you know you'll have to be careful. A rubble can interact with the door to open it. Interact. A conveyor belt runs along the one side of the room. The belt is carrying a half, com half completed droids of some kind into a large machine. The conveyor belt may lead somewhere important, but following it but falling while the assembly is running it would be dangerous. While a rebel is on one of the highlighted sp spaces, that rebel may spend four movement points to follow the conveyor belt. To do this, select the highlighted space in the app. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. I did not try that last time. And I've not tried that. I'm thinking I am actually going to try that this time. Okay, so we have green. Door is there. And we get a red. A red. A yellow. Yellow. Green, green. Number of metal plates covering the floor in the grid pattern seemed out of place compared to the rest of the factory. When you look closer, you see waves of energy shimmer across each of the plates. You have a feeling you should step carefully in here. Play six mission tokens. See rules below. So when a figure enters a space with an Imperial mission token, that figure rolls one yellow die, suffers damage equal to damage, results, and stress equal to the results. Then that figure becomes stunned. So... Gideon. 
he's going to just move two. And that's going to be the end of Gideon's turn. Continue. Oh, a series of wires. Oh, from the terminal. I forgot about the terminal. A series of wires run from the terminal down into the floor. The terminal must be controlling the electricity that is running the floor plates. Place one terminal. A non-stunned hero can interact with this terminal and try to shut it down. So, continue. Okay, Gideon's turn is now over. Two of the metal plates on the floor no longer show signs of being energized. So the positive news here is I can go one, two, three, four. Str uh, I don't have the strength because I've got the, the, the battle movement. Take the one. And that, okay, so that's probably going to stun him instantly. So it would be next turn before he can do that. So the question becomes... Round three is we're going to give this a whirl. So he is going to take his tactical movement and hop onto there. The conveyor belt may lead somewhere important, but following it while a similar machine is running would be dangerous. While a rebel is on the highlight space, that rebel may spend four movement points to follow the conveyor belt. Explore. You step on the conveyor belt in between a pair of half-built droids and ride it to the assembly machine. Inside is a loud, bright, oh wow, and hot. You must dodge moving mechanical arms. They swing to and fro. Test in sight. Oh, great. Blue and green. At least that's not horrible. We pass. Continue. Conveyor belt deposits you in a room with a blazing furnace. A short hallway leads to the door of the entryway. You have entered the factory. Oh, well that's different. I did not do that last time. So, we're going to take a quick little break. Alright, and continue. Among the straps, there's an unopened crate. A conveyor belt out of a large machine. Just then, a droid emerges from an opening machine. It powers on and turns its attention to you. Confirm. A nearby terminal is covered in levers and buttons and flashing lights. Perhaps the terminal, terminal controls the assembly line. Place one terminal. A hero can interact with this terminal to try to shut it down. Continue. Another terminal. Nope, right there. Continue. The conveyor belt has proven an effective, if dangerous, shortcut. Place your figure as close to the possible the white highlighted space. A rebel figure in highlighted space may spend four movement points to move as close as possible to any other highlighted space. Okay, I'm going to have to reread that again. A rebel figure in a highlighted space may spend four movement points to move as close to possible to any other highlighted space. Continue. We definitely have some issues here. And fortunately, it's a regular probe droid with only five. Okay, continue. Okay, so he's not going to be... Okay, I was hoping I could do that and it would just move me back. 
but that is not going to happen so I have to actually do something here and I'm going to have to try and take out this probe droid one shot so good news we have tactical fighter tactical movement has been used fighter I may overcharge it to put this card remove one die from the targets defense pool So we have a blue, yellow. I am going to have to deplete this card. I have got to take this guy out. Blue, green. Oh, this is going to be tough. So this is it. Come on. And so I try three, and that is going to be it. Oh, I'm really scared now. <laughs> That's the end of Finn's turn. The more metal plates lose their energy when previously plates become re-energized. Flip the yellow Imperial tokens to their rebel side and they flip the greens to the imperial side that wasn't very good so the positive news is I could one, two, three, four, one, two. Continue. Move five to be within two spaces. Self destruct. Each rebel within two spaces of this figure rolls one red die for each of their activation tokens and suffers damage equal to their results. The figure is defeated. Do not defeat in the app. It will be removed automatically. It's going to automatically self-destruct. I was trying to do that. Two. Finish. Okay. So, best in sight. Ah, oh, they're both equal. Okay. One, two, three. And we get to deactivate without being stunned. The terminal controls electricity running through the plates covering the floor. A non-stunned hero can interact. Shut down. Test mechanic. Oh, we actually did choose the right person. That's good. I was going to choose Diala, but that would have been bad. And we get zero. Confirm. You keep flicking switches and pressing buttons till unexpectedly receive an electric shock, which shorts out the terminal. The floor plates are no longer shimmer with energy. Become stunned. Discard the terminal. Continue. Discard all the tokens. Continue. Okay, so that's the end of Gideon's turn.
Another droid emerges from the assembly line. You only have a few moments before it powers up. Confirm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Open. Door. Y'all can't do anything there. One, two, three. Let's move to here. But that's going to take a full turn. Turn. Wait, you're on your own. I hate to tell you this. One, two, three, four. Oh, I hate splitting the party. But we have to. Rubble can open the door. Interact. You find yourself looking at a small storeroom. So notice this is as far as I've gotten. Hopefully we're still recording up here. Okay, so we need... Continue. The storeroom is filled with a large surgical canisters. Each of the canisters labeled warning hazardous gas. Place nine neutral mission tokens. These are the canisters. Continue. There's a train system into the ceiling. You guess its purpose is for moving around heavy objects. A hero can interact with this terminal and attempt to move the canister with the train system or try to shut down the terminal. We have a another lone crate. Okay. I'm going to try something different this time. Continue. Okay, that's the end of Diala's turn. <sighs> Self-destruct. Dude, can't you do anything else besides self-destruct? Two more damage to Finn. Oh! Finn also lost his train last time. Finish. One, two, three. Okay, so she can move. One, two, three. Take a strain of one. And she's going to operate the crane. We're going to move a canister. The terminal appears to control the train move the canisters around. It is an automated system that has been sabotaged, so you'll need a good eye to position the train properly. What's her insight? Oh. We're going to try and move the canister still. Blue and red. Confirm. The canister rises shakily before crashing to the ground. A puncture on the side releases toxic gas. Each figure within two spaces of 22B receives two damage. For each activation, portrait becomes weakened. Choose and discard a canister. We are going to discard this one. Yes, I have a method to my madness. Okay, so. Two. Two. Weekend. Weekend. Okay, so that's all she can do. Another droid emerges. Round four. Okay, so he is going to move one, two, with his tactical movement, and then shuttle appears to control the sim line. The hero can interact it, try and shut it down. We're going to shut it down. Test your mechanic. You 
figure out how to power down the terminal. The assembly grinds to a halt. Discard the terminal. Fine, and shut down one more terminal. Continue. With the sim line shut down, it'll be easier to move along the conveyor belt. A rebel in a highlighted space may spend two movement to spend as close to possible to any other highlighted space. <sighs> okay, so if that's out. We're going to move one, two, three, four. And we're going to interact with the crate. Interact. Two supply cards. Okay, so we have painkillers and supply chest. When you draw this card, immediately discard it and draw three more supply. Keep one. And back into the deck. We'll take a look at painkillers in just a minute. One, two, three. Calm link is useless. Weapons cash. Place this card. Play area. Tokens up four damage tokens when you are adjacent. When you or an adjacent friendly character declares an attack, discard one token. Discard this card when a friendly figure is attacking in your line of sight. Apply a plus one and a plus three accuracy to the attack results. We're going to use the weapons cast because I'm assume I can carry it with me. The other two just get buried and shuffled up a little bit. Okay, painkillers. While wounded, you gain a plus one speed and plus one endurance. During your activation, if you are healthy, you may give this card to an adjacent hero. Nice. Okay, continue. That ends Fen's turn. Oh, the blue droid is still there? Move and blow up. Two damage. I don't think that's going to do anything. Oh, and he loses a strain. Finish. Okay, so now this is off the map. And... We're gonna move. We're gonna take two strain. And we're going to... Hold on, can we do that? Okay, so Verna is going to have to do this again. Move a canister. Blue and red, please be successful. You successfully maneuver the crate over the canister, lift it gently to a new spot. Put one, put push a canister one space. It cannot enter a space with a figure or another token, and cannot leave 22B. Okay, so we are going to move this one over here. She is then going to move one two three this is her weekend and that's it continue okay diala is going to take a strain to move one is going to interact with the Terminal, we're going to shut terminal down. Great. Turn firm. 
If you're flicking switches, press the button until you unexpectedly receive an electric shock, which shorts out. Um, the create motor seizures become stunned. Discard this terminal. So she moved to, she becomes stunned. So I'm going to assume she is stunned, so she will then remove her stun. She still gets one more movement. One, two, three. Continue. If all terms are shut down, the security system, the buildings are um, out of commission and all the doors are disengaged, the door is now unlocked. Objective updated, find anger. Okay, good news. So we're going to then move one, two, three, four, and become unstunned. He's only going to move three and become unstunned. Okay. Then the Diala and the Gideons. You want proof of your friend's life? Well, here it is. Save yourselves, Benix cries out. Soren doesn't want me at you. She suddenly goes quiet. Now that you have proof, Danger continues, lay down your weapons and you won't, or she won't be alive much longer. You have limited time to complete the mission. Continue. Okay, so, Fen. First activation to open the door. One. Two. And then one, two, three. And that's it. Um, oh, we'll take two strain to move closer. One, two, perfect. And then we lose one strain for Lone Wolf. Perfect. The reason this is good is because he's within three of Gideon. Okay, so Vern is going to open the door. Interact. The door opens to some kind of laboratory. Place these tiles. Okay, and continue. The lab is mostly picked clean, but you spot what appears to be another unopened crate. This place is just full of unopened crates. Continue. Tied to the chair in the middle of the room is Benex. She is bleeding from multiple lacerations and appears to have lost a lot of blood. If she is not treated, she could bleed to death. Place one rebel mission token. This is Benex. Benex is a neutral figure with 10 health and can interact with Benex to try and treat her wounds or spin a med pack. Oh, wow. Okay, so we got a couple of things going on here. We have Benix. She is going to be here. She has four damage. Continue. You have lucked your way through the factory feet of feet, the factory of fear. Danger says from his position behind Benix, his gun to her head. That just means I get the pleasure of watching you suffer in person. Continue. At the side of the room, our doors labeled test subject. Danger hits control on the wall behind him, and the doors open. Hungry creatures emerge from the shadows of the cages. Oh, this is not good. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. No. Oh, and it's an elite. Continue. Another death, deadly mercenary creeps of the shadows behind you and prepares to strike. He's no good to me dead. Who's that? Boba Fett? Oh, goodness. Continue. 
You notice that Dengar is wearing an armor. He's a plus two health. Speaking of which, we had laminate armor. Oh, we only get plus three health. Oh, exhaust. Yes, we would have exhausted it. That would have been two less. Okay. Continue. You'll need to fight off Dengar and his associate in order to get Benex out alive. Defeat Dengar and Boba Fett before Benex bleeds out. Continue. Finn does not have access. I am in horrible position here. Okay, so I can move either of those, one of their movements. I want to block the one side. Gideon is going to move next. Gideon is going to command. One, two, three, four. Gideon is also going to open the crate. I don't know if that's the best move. Interact. You find some useful supplies, draw Sue's supply cards. Artificial stimulants and emergency med pack. Okay, that's good. That is going to end Gideon's turn. Set sights. Gain plus three accuracy to figures do not block figures line of sight. Punishment. Move two to attack Diala. After this attack for each unspent the defender must gain one harmful condition of their choice. Oh. And Benex is going to suffer a damage. Great. Okay. So I moved the wrong person. Bummer. Tanger is going to... What does he attack with? A green and a yellow versus a white. One, two, three, four. Misses one. There's no one spent. So she only suffers three damage. And she would not reroll a defense die there. Okay. And then she's going to suffer one more. Finish. Ten or more. No. Oh man, when that womp I move. Okay, so Denix is not Denger is not going to move again. So I could 
move one, two, We're going to do that. We're going to move two. We're only going to get one hit on the Wampa, which is 12. So I'm not about to kill the Wampa. But I'm going to hopefully keep the Wampa away. So Wampa has a black versus a okay so we're going to use a point block shot we're going to use the deal 44 wherever that ran off to there it is We are going, we're not going to use close quarters yet, has to be defeated. So we have a black versus a blue and yellow. So Wampa is going to suffer one damage. And, oh nice, a plus two. So that's three to the Wampa. Okay, we're not, we didn't use point blank, that's okay. It should have, but that's okay. I don't think it would have made, I don't think it would have made much of a difference. Okay, and we're going to use the create opening. Exhaust a shot, exhaust that. And so it's going to get one less damage, so it gets basically a pierce. That's four to the Wampa. That's the end of her turn. Boba Fett, rocket launcher. At the end of this activation, roll one red die. A rebel within five spaces suffers. <sighs> Target Fen, of course it is. If a figure has suffered two or more damage, it recovers two. Otherwise, it gains plus two. Wow. Move six to attack Fen. One, two, three. And Boba has blue, green, yellow. Versus a black. Hmm, that wasn't very good on both sides. Okay, that was just that. So that's out. Weaken. Move. Two to engage as many rebels as possible. So he's going to move one and I'm going to shoot Gideon. Nice. Weakened and a pierce. Weaken, and he takes one damage. Okay, that's the end of his turn. Diala. Okay, Diala. So, 
Let's see what we have for Diallo. Everything's back with everybody. Okay, snap kick. Exhaust this card, I have to resolve the melee attack. Where'd the plus steel staff go? Oh well, it's a green and a yellow. Versus a black. Yep. And a green die. So good news. Okay, so that takes care of that. Where plus seal staff go? Oh, there's plus seal staff. Okay, so good news. He gets a stun. And a plus one. That's going to be one, two, three damage to Denger. So he gets one. She is going to do the same thing. This is exhausted. And he did one. So we'd end up doing one more damage. That takes the end of her turn. And the Wampa's going to move. Move five to engage as many rivals. Then attack. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Move five to engage as many rebels as possible. Then attack Fen Cygnus. Move two to the closest rebel. Move six to the closest rebel. Okay, he cannot attack Fen, but he will attack Gideon. That's the only thing that makes sense here. Gain plus one after attacking this figure recovers two damage. <sighs> Great. And he has a red, red if I recall correctly, versus a black. <sighs> Three damage plus a bleed and a stun. Bleed and a stun. So he's only going to get bleeding. Because he's already weak. Oh, that's weakened. <laughs> Stunned. Perfect. <laughs> okay, and finish. Benek suffers one more. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
six rabbinics. No. Round six. How many points does Boba Fett have? Twelve. Okay. We're gonna suffer a bleed for Gideon. Because we only have one action. So he's gonna take he's gonna take the damage and he is going to command Finn. And Finn is going to go on ahead and attack. He doesn't have any of his fun special abilities. just has the A280 and the plasma cell. Oh! Okay, so he is going to do a rally shot, shout, and a person is going to recover two. This is before the command, and that's going to be Diala. Okay, and he is going to spend another, so he is maxed out, that's at five of his endurance, and he is going to um, focus Finn. So that's going to be the green plus Blue and green versus a black. Oh, wow. Okay, where adjacent range does not matter. This one's out. So, one, two, three, four. Great job on Boba Fett. Three. All right, that is really good. That is the end of Gideon's turn. Punishment. Okay, exploit weakness when this figure attacks. The defender must remove one die from their defense pool. Oh. She'll take four damage. Then it suffers another damage. That's seven. No. Oh, Benix does not suffer because he was stunned. That stays at six. He is now unstunned. 
Okay. Finn is going to go on ahead and go after So he's going to have to give two extra movement to himself for the adrenaline rush. Oh, I'm sorry. No. Tactical movement. So he's going to be able to move two spots. This guy, when you declare an attack, targeting a figure within three, apply a plus two. So, here's the good news is Finn is going after Boba Fett. He has a blue and a green versus a black. Okay, so we get Pierce 2 plus 2, so that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to do it again. And this time we do not have Trench Fighter. Oh, you're kidding me. Look at this. It does one damage. There's no way I'm going to be able to get rid of them. Okay, so we can move two. So lose one stress for Lone Wolf. And that's the end of Fen's activation. Wampa. Move five to engage in minimum, minimum one. Engage. Oh. All that stuff except for bleeding is off of Okay, he's going to go on ahead and attack Finn. He has red, red versus a black. Four minus two is two. Okay, that's good so far. And that's it. Move two to the cords. So he's going to move back one, two. Finish. One, two, three, four, one. Can't do anything. Hold on. One, two, one, two, three. Oh, shoot. Line of sight is blocked. Okay, we are going to take a... Um, Verna is going to take a strain of one to 
move here. We're going to feed a med pack. Use a med pack on neutral figure. A hero can interact with them to treat, treat her wounds or spend a med pack to recover three. We are going to use the med pack on Venex. Cover three. We are then going to shoot the Wampa. It's the only thing we can really do. Shield pack. Oh! Okay, I did not use that, uh, whatchamacallit. Darn it. So we are going to take our blue and our green. We're going to substitute out the green for a red. Don't know that's going to make that much of a difference. And it actually might have. Okay, so the Wampa blocks that, takes two damage. And then the Wampa is, ooh, wow. Takes another two. That's nice, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And that is the end of her turn. Boba Fett. In this activation, well, one red die. We forgot to roll a red die last time. And that was against Finn. So Finn takes three extra damage from last time. It's already suffered two or more damage. It recovers two. Bummer. Move six to engage. So that is actually going to be Gideon. Blue, green, yellow. With a black. Uh oh. Uh oh. Not so good. Okay, we're gonna suffer one damage right off the bat. Weakened and a pierce one. Two. He can't move. Move 10 towards the closest health, closest ready rebel. One, two, three. Sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four versus a two, eight versus twelve. We have six and we have eight to go. Oh no. Two come on here, two come off of here. So 
Oh, you can stop yelling at me now. Six, seven, eight, nine. So we have three to go. Okay, Diala is going to. Steel and staff. She is going to after you resolve an attack. She is going to use adjacent. Oh, I wish she was over by one. So she is going to attack Oh, can't even use it. Dang it. Okay, so she is going to attack Oh, Boba Fett's turn is over. And it's Diala. Diala is going to attack Can't decide which. She's gonna have to use both. Okay, there's a shot that she can take out Boba Fett. So Boba is going to take two damage. That leaves him with one left. And what do we have to use this on? We are going to use a plus one. And that takes care of Boba Fett. What is that like to see it? Dang it, we double. Oh, he becomes focused. Oh no. Okay, he is focused. Which I don't remember which. Okay, she now has a second attack. She is going to use the same. She still has snap kick though. Okay, one. Oh man, she's only going to do one damage. And nothing else plus a snap kick. Two damage. So a grand total of three damage. And that puts him at eight. Deadly peril. Benefit can bleed from her wounds. No, she has not. That's why we healed her up. Okay. So Diala goes next. There's There's no way. So she's going to attack twice. If she has to plus she gets to use snap kick. I think that's right. Yeah, I think that was right. Plus one for snap kick. Okay, so. One, two. Including snap kick, plus we get one more. And that is going to be a plus one. That's enough to take Denger out. Denger is focused to conclude that his battle is lost Abandons the fight, leaving you the opportunity to scare off the wild creature. Finally free Benex from her bounds. As Fen, Cygnus, and Diala each take one of Benex's arms over their shoulders, she says, I didn't expect you to come for me. Perhaps I misjudged you. You help her back to Soren's shuttle so that you can take her home. Continue. I'm kind of... Oh, oh cool. I'm crushing the name. Awesome. Total Fama 53. 4 XP class cards unlocked. Okay, thank you for coming. I hope that you will like and subscribe. Come back later and we'll see the next adventure 
on the return to Hoth. Please like and subscribe.